Once you have all the articles inserted, you're going to um, do a few different things. Um, at some point, you have to do the index here, and so I'll just go ahead and do that now. So in the index, you're going to type in the titles for the articles. So you will type those titles in the index and um, in the actual titles. So this is just really just copying the titles and typing it in here. So go I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you get a title that is too big for the index, you're going to have to make the index a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to widen that out, make it a little bit bigger until everything is showing. There it is. Um, so once you have that there, you're probably ready to put your titles in. Um, so your titles are just going to be typed right into your titles there. So pretty self-explanatory here, you're just going to type those in. If for some reason you end up modifying one of these title text boxes, because um, if you if you move it around or you make it smaller, the font will get smaller a lot of the times. Um, so if it happen if that happens, you want to make sure these are around 17 size, and they are. Um, so I have three there. I also need a fourth, and it's going to go over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, title text box and paste it and then I will um, make the fourth one and if you ever need to zoom in if you hold down control and scroll up or down that will allow you to zoom in and out you can also go to view and that allows you to um, go down with how things look or zoom in. So whichever way you want, if you need to zoom in or out, which is helpful uh, sometimes. At this point, I'm going to start modifying the articles so they look a little bit better and putting the pictures in there. Um, now I would find a picture, um, depending on the template you use, you're probably gonna have some pictures there that um, you can use. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this one and I'm going to basically modify it and then I'm just going to end up using it for every article. Um, so the white text box, text box kind of blends in too much with the white background so I'm going to um, change that and I'm going to fill it black and you don't have to do this, you can use something else. I just want something that's going to um, stand out a little bit. I'm going to change the text uh, to white there. Um, and then so I'm going to copy this picture, I'm going to paste it, and I have six articles, so I'm just going to paste six of them here. So starting with the first page, I would just put a text box, or I put an image right there. Uh, that's obviously not the image I'm going to use, so when you click there, um, this comes up and I want to change the picture to something else and this is going to be related to school. Uh, I'm going to get a picture of a school bus. And then the caption is going to be up to you. And this would be a time where you may want to zoom in if you cannot read that. Okay, so there's my picture. There's my caption. Um, also, with the first article here, you do want to uh, make sure you have uh, two columns in some of your articles. It's not necessary for all of them, but notice right now we only have one. And if you go up here to text box tools, and you can change the columns easily to two, um, that's going to work. And notice like, so the extra space here, you don't really want that. So I'm going to make this um, smaller until it kind of there's not a lot of extra space, okay? So that will work. Um, 
okay there. Um, but notice I'm overlapping the, the uh, index here, so I want to make sure I'm outside that index. So something like that um, is probably fine. The index probably looks better up here. And also on the index, I didn't change the numbers yet, but these are going to be page numbers. So the back to school article is going to be on page one, woodworking is going to be on page two, and all the rest of mine, I'm sorry, woodworking is on page one also. All the rest of mine are going to be on page two. Yours might look a little different than that, but that's how this one is going to look. So you can put the page that the actual article is going to be on um, in your index. Um, so the bottom, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to format this and put a picture in here. It's up to you if you want to, if you have lines or dividers, it's up to you if you want to keep them. If you do have lines and you stretch them, you hold down shift, they will stay straight. Um, so I have some extra space here. I'm going to bring that up. So this article has to do with woodworking. So I'm going to bring up image over here. Same thing, I want to change the picture. If you want to use different clip art and do your own for each one, that's fine. I just think it's easier to make one and then just copy them. So, something to do with wood shop. And then you would put some sort of caption there. Okay, and that's pretty much going to be um, the first page. You obviously, you know, you want to make sure things are balanced and symmetrical. Um, but if they are, um, for me, that's going to be my first page. I'm only putting two articles on my first page and putting all the other ones on the second page. For me, the second page is going to be where this gets a little bit challenging because I have to get all this stuff in there and fitting in there. And if I move my title up here. Um, a lot of times with this page, I think it's easier if you bring the side of the text box over here um, past six. That'll give me a room here to work. Um, so the type of picture I'm going to want for this is going to have something to do with um, lunch. So I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to find something related to food or lunch. And once again, I'm going to have some sort of caption. You're not just saying what the item is. I'm not just saying pizza, okay? Because um, obviously you can see it's a picture of pizza, but you're putting something um, in there. You can put something funny. You can put something serious. It's uh, up to you. And once again, it's up to you. If you have divider lines like this, you can either leave them in there. Um, you can move them. I'm going to leave them in here now just to give me a little bit of a divider so you can tell the difference here between these. It's up to you if you want to keep anything like that in there. But you're pretty much going to do the same thing. So you just want to make sure this text box ends around 6 and you're going to put a piece of clip art in the bottom. So I have uh, clip art now here and down here. Um, I don't have my picture changed yet here. So this is about volleyball, so I'm changing it something to do with volleyball. And another thing you want to do here for some of these is make them two columns just like you did the front because uh, two columns looks a little bit more um, professional in a newsletter. So um, once again, you just want to go to Format, Columns, and Two Columns. Okay, So you don't need to change them all. I'm going to just do it with a couple of them here. So I click on the text box. The text box is selected. Go to Format, Columns, Two Columns. Um, the last thing I'm going to do on this page is um, mess with this last article here because I have to get a fourth article on this page because I really don't have room um, for it on this page. Um, so 
I'm going to have to format uh, this and the titles so they fit. Now remember you want the titles to be around 17 in size. Okay, so even if I make this smaller, which I'm going to have to do, put begins on the bottom part, I'm going to center those. Okay, it already shrunk it down to 15 automatically, so I want it to stay around 17. If I have to make that a little wider, that's fine. Okay, so that's probably a decent sized title there. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Um, then I'm going to put uh, this article over here. I also need um, a last picture over here. This is going to have something to do with football. I'll change that in a second. Um, and then the last article is going to go right underneath here. Um, now this kind of all blends in a little bit. So what I like to do um, if stuff is blending in a little too much and not standing out is put um, rectangles behind it. Um, let me change this really quick. Something related to football. Okay, so I have my picture, my caption, my title. Um, so what I like to do is sometimes put a rectangle or a shape 